niacin, vitamin B3 niacin. If you're depressed and you want to feel better in less than 15 minutes, take 250 to 500 milligrams of pure niacin. That will cause a flush. You'll look like you have a sunburn or you're, you'll feel like you're having a hot flush. And you will not feel depressed if you do that. That's a nice temporary way of testing this theory about vitamin B3. If a person is down and miserable and depressed, and they take high doses of niacin, they will notice an immediate improvement. I worked with a lady once who was suicidally depressed. She lived at home with her family. She was in her 50s, and she spent all day sitting in a corner, face to the corner. She wouldn't talk to anyone. She wouldn't eat with anyone. She was totally uncommunicative. She was under the care of a psychiatrist, of course, as she should be. And the psychiatrist had her on a variety of medications, which you would expect. The family was wondering about nutrition. And I mentioned to them about Dr. Hoffer's work with niacin. And they wondered how much she needed to take. This person was very seriously ill. And I mentioned that Dr. Hoffer normally gave about 3,000 milligrams a day of niacin. But some people need a lot more, especially very sick people. And they should give her as much as it takes to make her better. Well, they figured they could do that. So at 11,500 milligrams of niacin a day, she was sitting at the table and talking to them like nothing had happened. Now, if you or I took 11,500 milligrams of niacin, we would be glowing, beet red. We would have such an intense niacin flush, and probably we would have other symptoms too, itching, maybe even nausea. But for her, because she had a vitamin dependency, that was the amount for her which made her better. 11,500 milligrams of niacin a day. So they went to the psychiatrist, showed the psychiatrist this recovered person, and the psychiatrist said, well, I don't think you should take all that niacin. It might be harmful. So they stopped giving her the niacin, and she was back in the corner. Safety with niacin? There's not one death from niacin per year on average. There have been one or two attributed over the last 15 or 20 years. But there's not even one death per year from niacin. And how many people that are suicidally depressed actually go and end their lives? Vitamin C in high doses actually helps you make certain chemicals which improve your mood. And uh, the other thing is uh, eat lots of foods that contain tryptophan. Uh, cashews, uh, dark meat of chicken and turkey, uh, nuts in general are high in tryptophan. And that tends to improve mood tremendously. If you look at cashews, they have so much tryptophan in them that two handfuls of uh, cashews give you the therapeutic equivalent of a prescription dose of Prozac. There's a lot of tryptophan in cashew nuts. 